From a living room in Nowheresville, Canada, it's Weekly Update with Debs Cute. Hi, I'm Debs Cute, and here are this week's top stories. On Thursday in Washington, D.C., Democrats and Republicans met to attend the health care summit. Under the watchful eye of the media and the public, the summit lasted for over six hours. Probably the most works that these politicians have ever done at once. Whether the effort was because of belief in the health care, pressure of the media, or sheer fear of the snow outside, we will never know. Friday, two fragments of the ancient man manuscript of the Hebrew Bible were reunited and displayed together. The new section is said to be part of the Song of the Sea the Israelites sang after being freed from slavery in Egypt. It goes something like, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will win a gold medal for Canada. Or something like that. Speaking of gold medals, Thursday night, the hearts of Canadians united as everyone watched the women's hockey team beat the United States and win the gold medal in hockey. Every young hockey player was hoping one day to be like them. And then they returned to the ice with alcohol and cigars. Awesome role models, eh? After being removed from The Tonight Show, Conan O'Brien has decided to keep himself in the hearts of fans with the use of Twitter. Just a day after its release, the channel already had around 20,000 viewers, which is already 100,000 times more than The Jay Leno Show ever had. From Weekly Update, I'm Debs Cute. See you on the flip side, and good night.